Hey, what's up everybody? I did it. I got to 100 subscribers. I try to have fun with it and I have been having a lot of fun. Let me tell you something, if you've never walked down the street with a Joby tripod in your hand and a big ass Canon 80D with a Rode mic with a dead cat on it and you're walking down the street in the middle of town and you're talking into the camera as you're walking by people, it takes a little bit of nerve because you know, people are staring at you like, what the hell is that guy doing? And I try to ignore them when I'm talking to you guys and I'm walking down the street, but it's really hard, you know? Um, and then you get the occasional people who walk behind you and they're waving behind you or they're making faces. And sometimes I don't even notice it until I'm editing the video that night and I start cracking up laughing because I'm like, oh my God, I, I completely missed that. <laughs> Uh, it was so funny. Anyway, I honestly did not think I'd actually be able to do it and there were many times throughout the process that I actually started to seriously doubt if I would be able to get there or not. I think I literally begged every family member and friend that I have and there's not many and I asked them to please subscribe to my channel. So I was going around to everybody. I must have seemed like a madman, probably like I seem right now, but I'm extremely excited and I didn't think I'd get here and I'm here and I, I don't even know what to do with myself. I, I have, I think now I'm up to 121 and you know, I'm getting one or two every, every day or every other day and each one that comes in is super special to me. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I went from zero to I think it's 121 subscribers. I did it in four and a half months. Um, I know people do it much quicker and I know some people take a lot longer. Um, this was my journey and I can tell you that it was fun for sure, but it was tough. Uh, I had a couple of hiccups along the way. There was a video YouTube didn't allow me to monetize because I don't know something is not acceptable in it and I, although I read every rule couldn't find out why this video was not able to be monetized so um, the other thing that happened was my software that I was using to edit video which was uh, Windows Movie Maker I found out was not actually compatible with Windows 10 and so somewhere along the line it crashed and it was the software that I had learned how to use it took me some time to learn how to use it and I was already putting out videos on a schedule and then all of a sudden I hit this bump in the road, I should say. Um, and so what I did was I had to quickly learn Adobe Premiere Elements so that I could continue putting out the videos, but I had to learn it really fast. And um, I actually, I'm proud of myself because I was actually able to do that. And I was able to get back on track and back on, on schedule with my videos. So that was, you know, that was another bump in the road. I learned, I learned a few things. Um, one, I learned that consistency is key. Uh, you have to be able to put out videos on schedule because that's what your audience is expecting. They, they need to know that on the day that they go and look for your video, there's a video there from you. The other thing you want to do is check the content you're putting out. Is it good? Is it funny? Um, Part of the reason why some people take longer to get to 100 subscribers is because maybe the content is not uh, desirable or not what people are looking for. And part of the reason why it takes some people so quick to get 100 subscribers is because they stumble onto something. They're really funny. They're really personable when they're in front of the camera. They're informative or whatever it is. You wanna check the content you're putting out and be consistent. The third thing you wanna do is community. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who talk about community and go into the comments and interact with other YouTubers, but I think it should be a little more specific than that. What you want to do is you want to reach out to the people who are at your level. So if you've got 50 subscribers, you want to reach out to other aspiring YouTubers who also have 50 subscribers and support that community, uh, support the people who are at your level. It's like you're in the same grade almost and you want to support each other and help each other grow your channels. You definitely want to subscribe to whoever you want to subscribe to, but I found that by, by subscribing to people who are at my same level, 
they were able to subscribe to me and we're supporting each other on this journey as we grow our channel. Every subscriber that they get and every subscriber that I get is very visible to me and so I see them and I can thank them and and they don't get lost in the millions of subscribers that are coming in for you know when you when your channel is very very big and so it's easier for them to notice you for you to notice them and to subscribe to each other to help each each other out. I was watching a Casey Neistat video one time and he said he had been given advice and he was passing it down and so I kind of want to do the same thing to you guys. His advice was just keep uploading. There was a there was many times when I was going from zero to a hundred subscribers that I wanted to give up honestly. I had 12 subscribers. I had 15 subscribers and it took me a really long time. You know, that gets you part of the way, right? It gets it started. Um, but after that, you know, you're on your own. It's up to the content you're putting out and your consistency and your commitment. It's a lot of work. I have a full-time job, so it's very difficult for me to find time to do this, but I love it so much that I make the time to do it. And so I film, I have to edit video, I have to upload the video. That can take hours. It really it requires a commitment. So if you're going to grow a channel and you really want to do this for YouTube, then I would say make sure that you have um, the commitment, make sure that you're going to be consistent, make sure that you know what you're going to talk about and what your niche is. My vlog, my particular vlog is like a daily life vlog, but part of my daily life is not just going out and being out and having a daily life. Part of it is the tech that I use and I, I enjoy talking about it. My camera, my laptop, my phone, what's going on with the specific. Now, I don't review every phone because I'm not a tech reviewer, right? I talk about the items that I'm using, why I use it, and why it might be helpful if you're interested in using it. Um, but I mix that in with my daily life vlogs. And so, if you know, you'll get some information on tech, but that's not my channel per se. So I, I just talk about things that I enjoy talking about. I get some wonderful comments from my subscribers. I get wonderful comments from people who just watch the videos. Maybe they may not necessarily subscribe. Um, I get feedback, which is great. Uh, if you have very thin skin, this may not be for you because I get, I get pretty harsh constructive criticism. I still take it as that. Regardless of the comment, I try to say thank you and I try to really be reflective about it and see if there's anything that I can actually incorporate to make my videos better, to make my content better. I always want to get better at what I'm doing and what I'm delivering to you guys. And I really hope that you guys are enjoying it. I'm so excited that I hit this milestone. My next milestone is 500 subscribers. I don't know how long that's going to take, but I'm going to put in the time and I'll have another uh, celebration of that milestone when I get there. I got big plans for the channel. I hope you stick around. The channel is Dave Steals the Show. If you haven't already subscribed, somewhere in this corner over here, there's a little red button that says subscribe. Crush that button, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned. I'm gonna have more content coming at you. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing and being a part of the show. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you at the next episode.